great big guy of all time, the Hawks. First of all, they weren't fat. They were studly. You think the Hogs are the big giant guys, huge guys? Go back and look now. Little guys. I have the actual playing weights of the original 1982 Hogs right here for you. Joe Jacoby, 305 pounds. Mark May, 295 pounds. Jeff Bostic, 268 pounds. Russ Grimm, 273 pounds. And George Stark, 260 pounds. Average weight, 280.2 pounds. None of them would be able to play offensive line in the NFL anymore. We'd be calling them the Piglets. Five offensive linemen plus tight ends Donnie Warren and Rick Doc Walker. Together, they sit at number three on our list. The key was that they were athletic as well as being big. I mean, the reason Joe Gibbs' team were successful is largely that offensive line made that offense go. And you know you win three Super Bowls with three different quarterbacks? It's because you have the best offensive line by far in the NFL. Hey, those offensive linemen that we had were super smart. Come here, boss. Take your, take your gap step. Just get a pinch on that guy, you know what I mean? Everybody was kind of looking at that group, and of all things, the hogs came out. I love them hogs. I love them hogs. I love them hogs. Yeah, I love them hogs. For that time, it was a big group of men, but it also was a fun group of guys, and I think the whole hog nickname was perfect. Well, they were genuinely a talented group of players, but no offensive line gets famous without a good nickname. It's an offensive line. Redskins, brother! Redskins, point, point. Washington had the fun bunch, too, and everybody thought of the receivers, but here are these big, burly guys, and they were getting recognized. Third butchers and we're the hogs. The thing they forgot is before a hog goes to the butcher, somebody got to kill it. And then next thing you know, that expanded, and then you got the uh, hogettes. Run them out, run them out, hog! Went, oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> Everybody likes a guy dressed up as a woman who's also a pig, let's be honest. Bureaucrats beware, this was pork belly politics at its best. The hogs had taken over the nation's capital. The fast, skinny guys would identify with the fun punch, and the old fat guys would identify with the hogs. <laughs> John Riggins was kind of an honorary hog because he partook with those guys. And, and I think that was the thing, too. It was an exclusive club. You didn't just get into the hogs unless, A, you were part of that offensive line or you were someone they deemed worthy of being a hog. You think about the hog, the fans with the hog snout or whatever it is. That's why they're on the list. Everybody remembers the hogs. They were big. They weren't that big. They weren't fat.